episode of Morocco. Ooh. So guys, we're finally repaying the Castilians back for all the torture and contempt we dealt with for years. I believe I'm just going to take this. Honestly, as much as I want to just go to war and just completely wipe out Castile, it's not like we're going to be going to war with them for anything else. I mean, honestly, I, I've said this before, I don't really... What do you want, Anjbach? They will concede defeat. Yeah, sure. You guys can concede defeat. I don't really care that much. Uh, now I just need Sweden to go invade. Uh, sure, we'll get. If you can tax it, you can tax it. That's my motto. All right. And legitimacy has climbed up to about um three now, which is nice. It means a little bit less rebellions, but I'm still getting quite rebelled. Against a lot of people are very mad about me being king, but you know what? I had to sacrifice. I had to get a great ruler for a so-so king. Okay, you guys. I don't want you guys to die at some point. So where are the Castilians? Ugh. It's like I want to go kill them, but I can't find them. Okay, that that's literally how I think about this. Cause I really want to go kill. You know, what? let's go right here into the ports. I'm pretty sure they'll turn up eventually. We just have to wait long enough. The siege of Amurka is over. That's good. Um, in terms of battlegrounds, this is not exactly the greatest battlegrounds to ever be fighting over. I'm about to conquer the greatest city, though. I'm going to go send my ships to go destroy this 12k right here. Just because I really do need to. Then I'll start like helping siege down all of this. Um, we could probably defeat this 4k if that other 16k doesn't join in. Yep, the 16k didn't join in, so we're going to instantly destroy that. Move down here to Cordoba. Now we have a united front of invasion. And there's not much they can really do about it, because I'm just going to destroy them like crazy. Okay, and we have our 61 death stack k going right here. And instantly destroyed almost whatever fleet was right there. Now that now they must be a little bit angry because I just that was mean. We do have some Algerian menaces. Uh, is our army cleaning them up, or do I have to actually go send some people to go clean them up? He's having a little bit of difficulty because he's guarding like a vast array of land, a vast array. I got more technology. Let's get him admin tech because we need admin tech. Production's now a little bit higher, which is why I like. And let's see, we're about to finish out Cadiz. I almost want to conquer Gibraltar just because that way we control the straits and that way they don't... Oh, man. That's a little bit Grenadian national. Actually, Grenadian nationalists would not be bad. If we have Grenadian nationalists, that sounds awesome. Okay, and let's see. Did the evil fleet reappear? No, they seem to be content with not attacking me anymore. Which is annoying because I'd really love to go engage them and destroy them with my 61k of awesome. Okay, let's see. Doesn't seem like there's very much army. Oh, there we go, Sweden. Didn't know Sweden sent their army all the way down here. Thank you, Sweden. They're apparently having their own, like, shadow war with Burgundy. Probably not working too out too well. Uh, okay. So, before we end this, I think I've decided I do want to get Gibraltar. Just because it is technically something that would be really nice to have. I mean, it would be... It would be insanely nice to have. Controlling what the straits... Controlling the straits of this area will definitely place me at a better advantage than the uh, Castilians ever had. So, let's quickly just get that, and then we'll peace out and end the war. Okay? That's how I'm going to end this. Plus, did they convert this to Catholicism? Or is this still technically a Christian prop? Or is this a... No, no, no. Oh my goodness. The amount of rebels, man. The amount of rebels. I mean, I can't... Yeah, just show province. Ah, they did com they did convert it to uh, Catholicism. Let's hope we can convert it back. We are having now lots of levels. Rebels are definitely running amok in my country. Uh, send them away. We can gain some piety right now, because I'm probably going to gain some piety for a little bit. Okay, let's see. Now that we have Gibraltar, this is my peace terms. I want this, and I want this. There we go. That's all I want. If I could free anyone else, I could. At least, yeah, probably couldn't do that. I mean, but then again, this is an opportunity for us to rip. Uh, you know what? In future wars, we'll, we will try to do that, okay? Give me as much money as you'll give me. 100? Okay, there we go. Wait, annul treaties. 
Wait, let me just cancel some treaties just so I don't have to like deal with some people. Uh, annual treatings with these nations. And there's not really anyone I want to really cancel. So yeah, this is it. Send the peace treaty. And will you guys accept or will you guys be jerks and I'll have to fight you over it? Oh my goodness, this land is insanely uncompromisable. I don't think I'll ever be able to achieve religious unity. There we go! Finally, everyone. We finally conquered all the land we needed to do. And with that, that finally overextension way too high. Really? Just give it a second. I have like literally six cores finishing right now. Just give it a second, okay? Alright, but yes. Coalition against us. Regrettably, we lost our stuff. Whatever. We just gained what we needed to. It seems like the, the Catholics have converted this to their culture and their province over the years that we have not been able to uh, uh, rectify any of that. But that's fine. Um, we do have kind of a worry, though, that Portugal is now in the, is now in the uh, coalition against me because now they could uh, definitely make a difference for my next conquerings. And they destroyed my entire... Uh, Oh gosh, I just realized they destroyed my entire, uh, oh, they destroyed my entire, like, transport fleet. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, how many, it takes 22, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, okay, that's enough on that side. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, as soon as all those ships are built, we will transport all of our people back. Oh, and Portugal, you know what? Screw you, Portugal. I've had it. I've, I've about had it with you, with you guys. You have just repeatedly done this. And you know what? It's quite frankly become quite annoying to us. To me? Yeah. Screw you. You get to now be embargo too. And my embargo is way more powerful than your embargo. I'm just going to say that right now. My trade... Oh, shoot. Yeah, the Portuguese took over after I left. Well, most of the time, if I had my trade fleet here... They'd be way more pop. What the heck? Hmm. Apparently, apparently the Portuguese somehow snuck up on me. Especially over here. Yeah, it seems like I'm... They snuck up on me in a lot of different areas. I'm going to have to rectify that. That's pretty... Well, right now a lot of my ships are grounded. I just remembered that. Okay. Divide this into half. Go send half the fleet to go into... Uh... Uh, the Gulf of Gideon. Wait, wait. What do we need? I need specific trade nodes. The Gulf of Gideon. Start protecting that trade a little bit harder. Um, seems like we now need to protect Zanzibar. So protect Zanzibar. Because the Portuguese are evil and they keep doing this. So go protect Zanzibar so we can start getting our trade back. How much did that make a difference? Probably have to wait a month before that updates. Yeah, we're going to have to play... We're going to have to play the trade war with them. Because they're apparently being... Uh, very facetious in their matters of war, which is annoying. Okay, I won't say that. And now a lot of people are starting to revolt against us. Because I'm not quite putting this down quick enough. Luckily, what are you... What? No! No! Guys, go right here. Go right there. It isn't that hard to get the nearest provinces. Go right there, go right there. You guys, go right there first. Oh wait, actually, you guys go right there. Then go right there. Because that's a little bit more crucial. Okay, let's look over here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. Go right there. Oh, that's an island. Shoot. Okay, it seems like I'm going to have to go deal with an island. By the way, you guys are just merchant men ships. Okay, you guys are just sitting there on a good province. You guys are just sitting there. Okay, so once I clear up all those rebels, I should have a good time. Uh, there's no one over here because, like, they all moved. And there's no one over there because they all moved. Why, gosh dang it. 
Uh, one thing about over expanding empire is that is that literally we have so much land it's crazy. But Galatia has formed. I, oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot that they formed. Okay. Yeah, it seems like my, my land's starting to become really rebel territory. Do we have some men over here cleaning up those guys? Good. I do have men over there. That's good. Uh, you guys are cleaning up all this mess over here. Uh, call to arms. Nation of Sweden, your faithful ally. Son of a... Against Russia, really. You son... Oh my god. Again, okay, not even just Russia. It's both Russia and Gr and Great Britain. No. <laughs> That's going to be Dishonored Alliance for like a couple of years. But seriously, yeah, no. I'm not fighting the biggest naval power and the biggest land power. Especially when I just got out of a war and I'm just recovering from all out like craziness. Uh, literally, it doesn't... Oh my goodness, there's so many rebels right now. We're going to have a lot of rebels for a little bit. Okay. Hey, hey, you guys, go hunt these rebels. We need some good management. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna leave. Let's see. I need to leave like a couple men. Let's see. I'm going to individually just just divide up two men. Okay. The rest of you guys, go hunt rebels. You guys, go hunt rebels. Okay. Now, now that we got that all settled. I have my ships being built. And I'm going to go send them right over here in Calcutta. Right, let's go get all you guys. You guys go to Calcutta. You guys go to Calcutta. Right. Oh, yes. Right. And you guys. You guys also go to Calcutta. Make sure there's no like bigger ships in there. Okay. Uh, you guys. You guys aren't supposed to be in there. So you guys go protect the trade fleet in Tunis. Okay. All right. All right. Revolt. 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 They rejected my trade. A lot of them are really, really angry with me. Wow. It's starting to go a little bit crazy now. Yeah. Taking that much overextension, definitely a bad idea for now. But as soon as this all finish up in 2025, we should have a great province. Or great land, I should say. Because right now, it's just the intermarry periods of war. Let's go group these guys up. Group these guys up. There we go. Let's go see this all happen. Yeah, once I get these guys also on the go on the main land, it should also clear up a lot of stuff. Right now my overextension is too high though, that's definitely a problem. Especially with low legit legitimacy, this is really... These guys should be able to deal with that. You guys are also going to be able to deal with this. You guys should be able to deal with that. You guys should be, whatever group over here, should be able to deal with that. Alright, we're grouping up all of our men. Let's see, is there any more ships we forgot? Oh my goodness, these rebels are really potent. Like, seriously. We've gained a corner province. There we go. Only 84. Sheesh, I, 84. That's not even that big. I've seen people that have gone like hundreds. Seriously, hundreds. Okay. So let's go pick up these men. Alright. I'm just going to have to regroup them up anyway. So get as much men as we can. Go this way. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, go back here. Go pick them up. Let's go see. You guys go get on the ships. You guys go right here. Got that. Let's go right here. Let's get right here. Get on the ships. And let's go right here. Alright. Right. Now, let's divide this up into an even amount of forces. This force goes over here. Uh, keep grouping up all the ships I missed. Because I know I made 42. There was no way I did not make 42. Let's go see there's another ship right there. Another ship right there. Go right there. Alright. And then you guys. 
build you guys right here, you guys go right there, you guys right here, you guys go right there. Yeah, these rebels aren't really going to be much of an issue once I get fully everything fully underneath my control. It's just I have to get everything fully underneath my control. Let's go see. I need you guys to be the guardians of Alexandria. Start guarding over there. Trying to start spreading out my armies back all the way I want them. Oh, I'm like overextended about the end too. So that army's about <laughs> that army's about to die. Uh, let's see. We got everything we needed. We do have a rebel fleet right there, which is cool. Uh, frustrated autonomy. You know, what? let the seventeen revolters revolt. I have enough to fight them. At least I hope I do because I just let 17 revolts. Let's go see. How's that army doing down there? 20, 26 versus 17 in Kilwa. Kilwa right there. Okay, I'm sending 27 to go after them. That should be enough to go defeat them. Yeah, I don't feel. I do not feel threatened by you guys. Sorry. I just do not feel threatened. Okay. And let's see. We got 42 ships right here. Is that going to be enough to carry all my massive amounts of fleets? Hopefully it will be. If I need to build one more ship, I'll build one more ship. Hopefully not though. I might even have another ship like over here. Yeah, I do. So let's go combine these guys too. So I have 48. That should definitely be enough. Go get attach these guys over here. That should be able to pick up everywhere. Let's see, where do I want to put these guys? See, I don't rem quite remember where they were to begin with. So it's like, hmm... We could have them be protectors of Constantinople, honestly. So yeah, let's go stick an army down in Constantinople. Have them be protectors of Constantinople. Um, I'll have you guys be stead in Kurdistan from now on. Stop killing rebels. There we go. You guys have to be stationed in Kurdistan. I'll have this 47 stack be over here. And let's see. And let's see. Now we have a massive... Now we're getting our country back underneath our control, man. This is what I'm talking about! Okay, and we also need to also build up our massive amounts of merchant fleets, which are insanely big. One, two, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, like, seriously. I think I might just go actually to six per province. Because we're basically making a 60 warship fleet. And this is gonna take a while. Wait, let me detach one from there. There we go. That should be good enough. Okay. And let's see, we have a missing advisor right now. Let me go get that dealt with immediately. National Revolt Risk, we could probably use that guy right about now. His price is really expensive. Do we have enough for 15 monthly? Oh yeah, we have enough for 15 monthly. Uh, but he's actually pretty low. Uh, getting him would probably be really nice. Especially for all of our... Yes! Missionary Strength is now strengthened. Now we can start actually converting some of these provinces. Good. Oh my goodness, that makes me so happy. So now we can actually start converting something. Uh, still have that capture mission. Probably need to do that now. Um, and let's see. Let's see. These guys are under our wall of marriage. We also need to... Ooh, ooh, before I forget, before I forget again, start integrating these guys. Yes, let's start integrating them. Probably can start integrating the Mamelukes too while we're at it. Yes, okay. That way we have those two guys finished up. And now we just need to finish off Ethiopia. You guys are going to go defeat those guys. Now we just need to finish off Ethiopia. By the way, how am I doing over here in trade power, by the way? Still not to where I like it, so I'm probably going to need to start spreading out my trade power a little bit better because apparently the Portuguese have invaded my land. And I didn't even realize it. Luckily, I'm still winning in this node, so... That's good, but they seriously invaded me and caught me with my pants down. Really. Seriously, I did not realize they had gotten this far into, like, trading and everything. We're really gonna have to fight them back, and over here I'm probably gonna get convoy wars. 
And well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Welcome back to another episode of Morocco. So guys, this episode we are going to be f probably finishing up with our little war with Swahili. Um, I know they're in a gigantic militaristic coalition against me, which will probably not end for a very long time. I mean, the people right now in my coalition are Portugal, Ethiopia, Fungi, and Kilwa. All people, conveniently, we all need to go and attack. If I must be honest with you, but what I need to do with Kil Kilwa is I do need to take this last little piece of land right here. That way my people can just freely walk around the entire state of Africa without having to deal with like, uh, you know, that one little blockage that makes it stupid and so it doesn't actually just go for the nearest province. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. I do have to go destroy this, uh, we did destroy it. So with that, I really don't, they're not going to be able to siege anything, so really... Uh, yeah, we could just go to war right now. Well, actually, do I already have a fabricated claim? No, I don't. So, I do also have to worry about that claim I do have to go get at some point, which is uh, Conquer Sulfur. Sulfur. What is that again? I completely forgot. Okay, fine province. It's been a little bit since I played this. Uh, Sulfur. <laughs> yeah, Sulfur. Yeah. Okay. It's a little land right over here. It's by the Ottomans. Who are you guys' allies right now? Ottomans Reconquest. You guys aren't really allied with anyone. We could probably make this war really, really quick if we wanted to. In fact, let's... Hmm... Yeah, we could probably do that. I mean, it's not really that big. You guys go hunt down rebels. Uh... You guys... Where are you guys going? Uh... You guys... Are you guys going right there? You guys actually, I want you guys to actually go right here, go put some men right down there. We'll have two men attack from both fronts, take Oman by storm, Patriots rising, it doesn't even really matter, they're not, keep gaining piety right now, we're gaining, we're doing the gain piety thing, mostly because I want to start converting some things, like seriously, we have a lot of things to convert, a lot of things. Is this even moving? Yes, it's moving by 2.4, we're actually starting to convert things, people. I'm really happy of that. Shiite zealots, not too particularly keen on them, but not too particularly, not too particularly scared by them either. You guys, I don't want you guys getting mixed up in the gigantics, in the gigantic, like, mm, like combining. I'll do later. Uh, you guys get right here. Let's see. I also need you guys right there. You guys are gonna hunt, stop hunting rebels for a little bit. You guys are going to do a quick war with Oman. Once we're done with Oman, then we'll quickly go down here, go destroy, uh, gain administrative power, gain... Now, I don't really need ducats right now. I'm pretty stupidly rich. So, let's get that. You need a higher militaristic leader. Let's see. I have an insanely good, like, army tradition. So, let's see what I roll. Um... Let's try again. Uh, try again. Yeah, that guy. Uh, just, just trying to get a decent... Actually, we could probably negate this if I probably get this right here. But, uh, yearly prestige. If it got me legitimacy, I would probably accept it, but... Nah. Let's just go with this guy. This guy, it's... At this point in the game, it's really important that we have a really good, like... Um... You know, shooting. So, a really good shot. I mean, look how much our shot does. 1.6. I mean, shock still does pretty good too, but like, it's all about the, uh, it's all about the fire now. It's all about the fire, like, seriously. And then, no, this is really the difference. 4.4 with artillery fire. Okay, basically that makes the day. And more slaves in my country, which makes my day a lot more difficult and a lot more sad. Okay. Let's see, we got both of our troops in the beginning. You guys, I have no diplomats to send. Why is that? Two of them are tied up, I know that. You are improving relationships, we really don't need to do that anymore. Come back to my land, and we're going to declare war on Oman. Quickly go do a war with them, conquer Keshia, and then... Yeah, casually integrate them. It's not going to be that hard, party. We could probably, you know, even... Even though we're having a little bit of difficulty right now with our whole, uh... <clears throat> you know, situation with the military, we could probably declare both these wars at the same time. I mean, Ethiopia is really not going to be that hard of a threat. 
And Kiowa, as far as I can see, does not have a military, so we could probably do both of these at the exact same time. Let's go see. Let's go have you guys go right here, and Oman. Hmm? Wait. What? Yeah, I should have, a. Uh, I have no cousin's belly for this. Okay, fabricated claim on Soul Share. Apparently, I don't have a claim on Soul Share. That's really weird. I thought I did, otherwise I would have, you know, fabricated claim a little bit quicker, but... Wow. Okay. And let's see. With in terms of... Man, it's still... It's still, like, a lot of... The Holy World Empire is Bohemia still, everyone. Oh my goodness. This would be really nice, but I really don't want to do it because of that technological thing. Because that technological could really not be very bad. Okay, the rebels in there actually could be very hurtful to us. So I should probably keep a good, like, 10 death stack down there. So let's see. Go use my 48. You guys, I need you guys to group up. And I need you guys to control, control the trade in, uh... Man, these guys took over a lot. Let's go take over back Constant Constantinople, because that's a really good, important trade node. You guys go pick up the 39 death stack. I think I'm just going to stick the 39 death stack right on the face of the, uh, of the, uh, yeah, you guys follow the ships of the, uh, Gibraltians. I'm pretty sure Gibraltar is going to be a little bit of, of a, of a revolting province for a little bit, so I'm probably going to have to deal with that. By the way, where did my men go? Oh my goodness. That's the one problem with this entire continent is that literally everyone's an idiot. They don't know how to move their stupid troops. Oh gosh, dang it. Okay, Gibraltar's core has been stopped. I'm gonna go deal with that right now. Dealing with that right now. Literally as we speak. Wait, are you guys literally... Okay. And another revolt? Man. It's almost like these revolts are telling me that maybe I shouldn't go attack to go keep expanding. But it's just what I do. It's just, it's just so hard not to expand, man. It's just so hard. It's like, I have it. Okay. So I'm going to keep like half of these men down here. Half the men go right on here. Keep about like, half of them down there. Go send this half to go over here into the Constantinople region. Okay. And yeah, 15k should be enough to guard whatever problems that might arise from... Uh, Gibraltar, probably not from any problems that arise from Castile. If Castile attacks me, I'm probably dead. But if they don't, I'm probably going to live a long, long time. Do you have more rebellions starting to pop up, which makes me kind of worried? Uh, I do have a good. <laughs> I do have these guys cleaning up the entire mess of this area, even though we do have a land province right there. Just want to point that out. Uh, you guys are also cleaning up. Uh, now we can gain free inflation. Alright, we got our colonial conquest. Let's go see. We have to wait for our diplomat to return. Oh my goodness. One thing that will kill me is the diplomats, everyone. Tangiers. Oh my goodness, Tangiers. Tangiers. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, we shoot, that's a lot of people. Yeah, Tangiers, you guys probably deserve an actual real army. Because that's a lot of people you guys are imprisoning. Okay, you guys go hunt. Yeah, you guys. Go back to where you guys are supposed to be. Yeah, you guys go back to where you're supposed to be too. Okay. Sheesh. Okay. You guys don't need to be walking everywhere around my provinces. It just causes... Uh, yeah, gain the two base tax. Two base tax, way better. Okay. Don't worry. And then this army is about to go engage that one. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, that is a major loss right there. Oh, yes. Epidemic disease. Whoa! I don't know how I just got defeated, but that's like insane. Okay, and it's 13, it's the 3rd of January, 1729. And I think it's it's almost time for me to end the, today's episode, so I just wanted to say, guys, well, it's not really time to end today's episode, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys the last little bit of the Marco Wien campaign. 
I believe this is about a good way to end, because I feel like I'm just going to be dealing with lots of rebels on lots of different stuff for like the next couple years. And I'm honestly just a little bit... I'm getting a little bit sour with this campaign, so I'm just going to end the campaign now. Um, you guys get to see the last little bit of Morocco, Africa, as I will coin it, because we definitely are Dolph Africa now. This was, by the way, this was a fun campaign for what lasted. It's just, sometimes I feel like Paradox cam campaigns, especially when you go to EU4 and TK2, are just a little bit too long for my taste. But this was a really fun campaign. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the foreseeable future. And if you want me to continue this Let's Play, just give me a comment, and I will totally continue it. But right now, yeah, right now this is the ending. So see you guys in a new Let's Play in the future. Bye.